Yo, what's up everybody? Today we're here at Mogul's Palace and today we're gonna show you how to start a throne chair business. A little backstory about how I got started. Um, you know, a couple years ago, my sister had like a little birthday party. I'll show you some pictures on screen. And during that party, a person came in, dropped off one of these beautiful throne chairs and then left. Came back at the end of the night and he charged my parents $250 just to do that. So it got me thinking, why I can't do that? First thing I did was I went to chiselperfections.com. I signed up, I talked to them because I was a little nervous, so I talked to them on the phone, looked at a couple of their projects, and the first throne chair I got was the white and silver throne chair. So getting the throne chair took about a month or two, and it was easy when I got it. But the hard part was doing that first delivery. How do I transport this damn throne chair? I had to rely on U-Haul. Sometimes they weren't open. Sometimes I reserved it and they gave out the truck somewhere else. Sometimes the person that rented out the truck before me didn't bring it back. And they always was pushing me in situations where I had to rely on them. And I didn't want to do that no more. So, I got my own truck. I did my own deliveries. And it worked out great for a while. You know, I was handling it. But I needed more help. And that's when my baby decided to hang out with me, you know. We was dating, you know, for a while back then. She's doing more deliveries, and I decided I wanted to make her a full partner with me, you know, go 50-50 on this thing, you know? And that's what we ended up doing. That's a little background about us and our business and how we got started. Now, let's get to the real stuff that you came for. How to start a throne chair business. So is this business simple, or is this business hard? I think it kind of depends on the type of person you are. The double seaters are heavy sometimes, and they're very difficult to transport by yourself. You're gonna go into a lot of venues that have very small doors. You might be going upstairs. These are things you need to consider when you're getting clients and you're trying to fi filter through which clients are the best for you. I typically don't take no clients that have uh, stairways that have to go up to. These are very hard to get up stairways. You know, that's a two man job if I need to go upstairs. So you need to charge more or figure out a way to get up the stairs easily for yourself. But overall for me, I typically like the throne chair business, you know? I think I get a lot of my money back from my investment. The chairs typically cost $1,200 to $900. You know, each one of these rent out for a different price, but I can tell you right now, renting this out six times, I make my money back. Renting this chair out four times, I make my money back. And how many times can I rent it out in a month? As many bookings as I can get. So what's the top three clients all year round? Birthday parties, baby showers, and wedding clients. All year round, those are our top three clients that we get all the time. And those are the type of clients that always want one or two chairs. Birthday parties, mostly one chair. Single seater is a perfect example of that. But weddings, baby showers, they're gonna want the double throne chairs or they're gonna want two single throne chairs. Now, these type of events, they start around 4 p.m. and they end around midnight or 1 a.m. in the morning. So you have to make sure you're comfortable with this type of business. You're gonna drop it off early in the day, have the rest of your day in between to do whatever you want, and then pick up late at night. Now for some people that might work. For myself, sometimes I like to go out with my, my friends and party and drink and stuff like that. So those are things I'm gonna have to give up if I need to make sure that I can do that pickup late at night. But another time that's very busy is prom season. Prom season, we get so many clients that just need prom, uh, prom throne chairs, the sanction ropes, the red carpets, the balloons. They want the whole nine and it's only getting more expensive every year. So if you're a person that's gonna be available around prom season, you want that midday arch, you want a quick couple of hundred dollars, the throne chairs are gonna be the best bet for you. So what throne chairs do I recommend to buy first? To be honest, after years of doing throne chairs, my favorite throne chair has to be a white and gold or a white and silver single seater throne chairs. And I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, white and gold or white and silver are used for all types of events. If you, if you took a survey of how many events um, have either white or gold or white and silver in their, in, their, um, in their color scheme, it's probably gonna be 50% of the time, it's gonna be these two colors, okay? But the reason I recommend a single seater over a double seater is because this can fit in my 2013 Ford Focus. And I'm gonna show you a clip of that to prove it to you. You think it's funny, you know, I think it's kind of like, oh, whatever, but I can tell you there's plenty of times where U-Haul screwed me over. Where, you know, my friends I thought was gonna help me transport this stuff screwed me over. And if I wanna depend on myself and make sure my business runs smoothly, I have to have a backup plan. And I can tell you what, my Ford Focus hatchback is my backup plan. I can fit one of these single throne chairs in that vehicle anytime I need to deliver. So let's talk about the maintenance for the throne chairs. I can't lie, there's a lot of people that come up 
send these throw chairs and they mess them up. They get dirty. They get torn over time. They get worn over time. You know, people with dark jeans like this sitting on the throne chair starts to stain the, the leather on the material, you know? So there's some processes and techniques to kind of restore this, kind of maintain the quality of your chair. And I'm gonna go over that right now. So I personally haven't done this, but my father uses a certain type of spray. He sprayed his throne chair. For, he, you know, covered all the diamonds on the chair. Um, make sure none of the gold is showing. He covered all that with tape and he sprayed his whole chair. And after he did that, the chair looked brand new. Now I will tell you, the spray he put on was a different type of white than the white that you get. If you notice, uh, I have a, a white and a, it's kind of like an ivory color throne chair. Once we spray that chair, it will not be ivory anymore. It will be white, but it will be a clean white. And no one's gonna deny a clean chair when you drop it off. It just won't be ivory anymore. So that's a, that's a you know, decision you have to make for the ivory chairs. But as far as the white and silver, white and gold throne chairs, these will be fine. You color them white, you spray them, they're gonna be brand new, you never have to worry about it again. What we're gonna start doing is, every year around Christmas time, we're gonna spray our old chairs, you know, rejuvenate them, get them back to that shiny new white, and then we're just gonna take off the tape, off the covers, and, we have an, and we're gonna have a brand new chair. All right, y'all, so I'm here at the computer right now. Uh, what I would like to do is just go over the financials just to show you how much money we've made in the last year so you can see if you think this is the right investment for you. So right here, this is a, a, a screenshot taken from uh, QuickBooks. So this shows every time someone rented out a throne chair on my QuickBooks, because I have three different businesses, it's hard to keep track of how much money I make from one business to the other business when I'm using the same asset. So that's why we have these three, you know, multiple different ways. As, as you can see, I have QuickBooks, Acuity and Acuity add-ons because those are the three different ways people can book the, the throne chair. Anyway, starting with QuickBooks, right? This is all the times people have rented it out on QuickBooks. As you can see, you know, the, if you add all this up, this is a pretty big percentage of, of how much money I've made, probably around 15 or 16-ish 15 or percentage of all the money that I make um, throughout the year came from throne chairs. And as you can see, that's about $5,080 just from throwing chairs. How's it $80? So where's the $7.30 come from? $7.30 right there, okay, cool. I guess it's there, it's there, it's there. All right, so we can X that out. That's one done. Next, we have the screenshot from Acuity. So this is a little bit more complicated. So what I'm trying to do is say, in these packages right here, the moguls packages um, right here, these lower tier packages, the throne chair is built in. Now, on the higher packages up here, the ones that are above, those packages, if you got a throne chair, it would be an add-on. So that's why I have the add-on link here to see all the times some you know people added it on. And then below it, I have all the times people just got these packages where it was included. But I'm including that price in. So at our hall, we actually have two different prices. At our hall, we charge $100 or $200, um, depending on what, pet, you know, depending, um, Oh, let me start. Let me set this over real quick. Sorry, guys. Uh, so at our hall, if you was to get the event space rental package, the add-ons come in two prices: $100 or $200, depending if you get a double seater or a single seater. And you can see that here. See, white and gold. Uh, you know, one one time right there. You know, two uh, a single seater. You know, they want two throne chairs, white and gold. It's $200. And so on. Then you can see like the double seater. Okay, the double seater is obviously a higher price, two hundred dollars. Just so you know, when I post on Facebook Marketplace, I charge um, three hundred dollars for a double seater and one hundred and fifty dollars for a single seater. But in the hall, we discount the price, so that's how much we got for the add-ons. So if we, if we added up all the add-ons for throne chairs specifically, it adds up to one thousand uh, two hundred fifty dollars. Now. What about these? Well, since these are baked in, it's a little it's a little bit more complicated. Because the price is already baked in, we don't charge them a different price uh, if they get a double or a single uh, throne chair in this package. So because we're doing it that way, I'm just gonna say that every time we rented it out, I'm just gonna assume that it was a single seater. Most of the times it's not, it's usually a double seater. But for this example, I'm just gonna assume, worst case scenario, I've only rented it out for $100 every time I've had it at the hall. Now, when we add all those numbers up, now I just don't want y'all to get distracted with all that stuff I have over there. 
and we add all those numbers up, we get $7,930, which is a lot of money. But let's take into account, what if we bought all this inventory this year? What if we have broken even? And if you look at it right here, we have five single seaters that are around $900. We paid a little bit less. We paid $1,200 for two at a time. But for the sake of the example, we're just going to go at $900 each chair. So that's $45,000. Then we uh, have three du double seaters. They cost around $1,200 a chair. So we have three of those. So that's $36,000 plus the one kid, uh, the one kid thrown chair we bought for $300. And when we add all that up, that adds up to $8,400. Now, this is showing that we didn't make a profit, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's concerning. But you gotta understand, these are one-time fees. You know, we didn't buy all our throne chairs this year. You know, and the money that we, what we did was we started with one, and as that one paid itself back, we got another throne chair, and so on and so on. That's the way we built up to so many throne chairs that we have now. But in this scenario, in this, you know, hypothetical case, say you bought it all this year, if um, you bought everything this year, you would have um, you would have almost made your money back by now. Not all your money, you'd have been four hundred dollars short. But I think that's a long, uh, considering you made eight thousand dollars this year, uh, almost eight thousand dollars this year, and you're gonna make continue to make eight thousand dollars every year for the rest of your life with no additional cost because you already bought the throne chair, except for gas and transportation. Um, I think that's a very good business model. All right, guys, so we showed you how to run a throne chair business from start to finish. If you wanna watch more videos about how to make money with party rentals, subscribe and comment below.